Welcome to another Teach to Learn Foundation video. Here we have a Euclidean geometry proof where we need to prove A, B, parallel to D, E. Now you can only do that by proving the both triangles congruent so you can get ultimate interior angles congruent. There's three ways of proving triangles congruent, and those are the side 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 postulate, side angle side postulate, angle side angle postulate, angle angle side, and hypotenuse leg. However, for this one, we definitely don't have right triangles, and you can only use hypotenuse leg and right triangles, so you just want to get rid of that. So, first, it tells you that BD and AE will see the midpoint of BD and AE. So, your step one is going to be that. That's your given information. And the reason for that is simply going to be that it's given. And that gives you a lot, because that gives you two sides of the triangle congruent, and that'll definitely help you prove this triangle congruent. Now, you're going to want to look at something else. Um, you're going to want to look at something else. You're going to want to find either maybe another side, A, B, D, E, um, other angles, or anything else that can help you prove the triangle congruent. And here, we definitely have something because we have the vertical angle A, C, B, and E, C, D. And you're just going to want to drag that in, or write that in really for you on your proof and the reason for that would be that it's the definition of vertical angles remember that you have to do vertical angles in two steps you can't just say that the two angles are congruent it has to be in two steps and your step after that would be that the two angles are congruent and then you can say because vertical angles are congruent but only then so now you definitely have enough information to Prove your triangles can do it, and we're gonna see that we can do that through the side angle side postulate. So that's gonna you're gonna write that in as your step, and side angle side postulate would be your reason. Then, but however, it doesn't ask you to just prove the triangles can do it. It asks you to prove A B parallel to D E. So you're gonna ask yourself, how are you gonna do that? Well, you have um, alternate interior angles inside of those triangles at E and A. So you're going to want to say that those angles are congruent, and your reason for that is going to be that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And then after that, this is going to be your longest step, and this is a very important step though. You can do your proof statement that AB is parallel to DE because if two coplanar lines are cut by a transversal so that the alternate interior angles form a congruent, the two lines are parallel. That's a very important step you need to remember, and you're probably going to need to know it for a proof on your own geometry regions. Well, that's how to do Euclidean geometry proof. This is a Teach Learn Foundation video. Subscribe for more videos to help you score best on your tests.